It's time for another closer look at a key Kentucky Derby contender. What's up, boys and girls? Jared Welch, RacingDudes.com, back for another horse profile for the 2022 Kentucky Derby contenders. And I've been saving this one for last. Super happy I got this one. You had to know. I mean, as lead uh, spokesman for this horse and top of the fan club, Taba. Taba. Now, he won't be the Derby favorite, I don't think. Um, but he will be one of the top choices after that unbelievable performance in the Santa Anita Derby, making just his second start. In fact, he's going to be making just his third start of his life in the Kentucky Derby. And I get it. That's a lot. We'll get to that, but let's talk about the, the Santini Derby and what we saw. I mean, what more could you ask from a horse? Like, if you just forget what, you know, the the all the other parts to it that he hasn't, you know, this is only his second start ever. You just watch the race. That's is that's how you want a, a good horse to look winning a big race. Like he did it. You know, when he debuted, he just blazed around the track. He just you know got a one three buyer and just went gate to wire almost and just bam. It was never close. Cruised, got an unbelievable time. Really, really good effort, impressive effort. So when you go to the Santa Derby and he's entered, which was one, a surprise. Two, you say, well, if he's going to win this race or if he's going to have any chance, it's going to be using that speed, right? No. Mike Smith jumps aboard here. John Velasquez has opted to ride Messier. Messier and Forbidden Kingdom go out, and Mike Smith is just like, hey, I'll sit off of it. It's fine. And that's what's so important here, guys. Taba making just his second start after just an unbelievable, unbelievably quick first made special weight, going six furlongs where he blazed. He sits off it. He sits off the bridle and waits in a second start, which is just, I don't care what you say, that is impressive. And then when the time can't, you know, turning from home, you could real, or even in the turn, you realize, okay, he's going to fire. He fires. Messier makes the easy lead and, and is just cruising, and Taba runs him down in just a second start. It was ultra impressive effort for me, and, and and really when I look at the Kentucky Derby, I don't care that it's only his third start. Sure, things can happen, right? There can be issues, but when I look at Taba, I look at the most talented horse in the entire race. So what? I mean, what more do you want? Not to mention, we're probably going to get, like, third choice here. I mean, I think Zandon, I definitely think Epicenter uh, will be uh, lower odds than Taba. So, could we get 5-1 to one on him? To, on the most talented horse in the race? That's insane. I, I, I understand the the issues here. that, But as we've gotten more and more down the Kentucky Derby uh, road in, or in years past, like, the, the need to have that established race profile you know having all those races to lean on in the past are becoming less and less important in the kentucky derby whereas what's becoming more important is talent and speed and guess what this horse is oozing with it so that if he breaks well and again like that could happen with any of the 20 horses in the field a poor break and all of a sudden you know things go a little sideways here but he showed me that one, he's the fastest horse in the race, but he can also decide that he doesn't need to be the fastest horse in the race and wait and, and, and say Messier goes lead, a stable mate. That seems like very likely. You know, Yak Teen looking for his <laughs> Yak Teen looking for his first Derby win. Mike Smith, uh, we, he's done it right. You know, is he? <laughs> wasn't so long ago, right? Uh, he's on another free. This Gunrunner Colt, I, I just think he, he, he he's the most talented horse in the race. Could he get beat? Sure. Could 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 a bad trip? Could a poor break? Just all that. Yeah, it's the it's Kentucky Derby. But for my money, and I will be using my money on the first Saturday of May, I think the best horse is Taba. That's my bet to win the 2022 Kentucky Derby. All right. Give me your thoughts below. Let's hear it. This is a big one, right? I, I want to know what you guys think of this horse and who can beat him and why he can lose or why you think he's going to win comments below make sure you hit that like button subscribe we got a ton of profiles for all the contenders for the kentucky derby on our youtube page youtube slash racing dudes or go to racing dudes.com you see it all there guys all right until next time this has been a presentation of racing dudes.com 
your destination for all things horse racing and sports betting. Whether you want free winners, expert insider picks, up-to-the-minute trackside weather reports, or podcasts and videos for bettors of all skill levels, never make another wager without visiting the Racing Dudes first. 